When I visited early in the year to Greenwood Rising Center, I had an opportunity to hear an account of the event that happened in 1921 from one of the survivors, and she said that as a little girl on that day, she looked up in the sky, she thought that she saw black birds. And she realized that it wasn't black birds, but it was airplanes that who, the black birds were bullets, and the planes were devices meant to cause fire. And so one of my mentors, he told me that, you know, in Ecclesiastic, it says that there's nothing new under the sun. Yet in contrast, as artists, we are commissioned to what Isaiah said in uh, chapter 43, verse 19. Behold, I will bring something new. And so for me, being commissioned to create a body of work on an incident that happened over 100 years ago, which is historically like relevant to me today as, as a black entrepreneur on Black Wall Street, what it is always meant to me, I wanted to bring something new. And so in the body of work, a lot of times you see this iconography of the black birds. So instead of the black birds bringing the five destruction, the devices bringing the five love. So this piece is titled Love Lends Wings. And so when I did this, when I began the series, this was the first piece. And it was on my mind with the young lady, well, the woman who survived the massacre, who was a young child on 1921, May 31st. Uh, she was referenced the black birds and the planes. And so for me, um, I wanted to take the plane and repurpose it, and that's why I put 2121 on the plane and the love plane, like upside down, because we're flipping the concept of what happened in 1921, and instead of uh, dropping bombs to bring fire of destruction, this is a plane that brings weapons of mass construction. I wanted to create a, a body of work that um, I wasn't present in 1921, and I wasn't able to be here on site in 21, in 2021. And so I wanted to bring something new uh, that probably had never been done before, just envisioning what 2121 would look like. 97 years from now, 200 years after the, the event, the, the horrific event. And the scripture says, you know, behold, my people fail for a lack of vision. And so I wanted to create these 21 heirlooms or relics to be uh, preserved, you know, for people to not only to see, but to feel and to engage with the visual language of Statue of Reconciliation, instead of the lynching tree, the redemption tree, instead of the unmarked grave, a landmark grave, um, instead of spelling community in the normal way, spelling it as come unity. And so taking the word and putting it in the command form in that way that people today, we can be encouraged to just be more, more loving, more equitable, more kind, more graceful to ourselves and others. And the effect that that would create a momentum, a ripple effect in this environment, in this here in Tulsa, in Oklahoma, and, and hopefully in the whole you know United States of America, in the whole world. And so that in 2121, even though we are not alive in the flesh, the spirit of what we created in this moment with these paintings can live on and stand as a testament. The title of this painting is Five Civilized Vibes. Upon my, my visit here early in the year, uh, I had no idea about the five civilized tribes and the civilized aspect of it being in relation to the enslavement of, of human beings from Africa. Um, and so for me, I, I wanted to take this uh, historical uh, information and, and tragedy and repurpose it to something more loving. Because I think like, if you don't, it can, it can perpetuate resentment between uh, people of native, who are native to this land and, and Africans in America. And so I wanted to repurpose that from the five civilized tribes and to make it the five civilized vibes.